Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi, I'm H. Quincy Long, president and founder of Crest IRA Inc., and we provide self-directed IRAs. And today in the REI Classroom, I'm going to be talking about top 10 tips for private lending out of your IRA or personally. This REI Classroom Real Estate Lesson is sponsored by TheInvestorMachine.com, FlipNerd's private investor coaching program and your blueprint to investing success. So my first tip is do not loan on something you would not be excited to own if the borrower defaults. Because life happens and sometimes the borrower defaults and you have to take the property. And if you would not be excited to own it, it's probably not a very good loan for you to make. My number two tip. Generally, do not adv advance money for repairs until the repairs are done and inspected uh, because you can get into a property, a property and you foreclose on it that hasn't been repaired. And I've had many clients that get into this mess. My third tip, and this is going to make you laugh probably, my third tip would be to do not loan to someone you would feel uncomfortable foreclosing on. Now, I'm myself, I would feel comfortable foreclosing on my mother for I loaned her money and she wouldn't pay it. But some people are not like that. And I have seen lots of relationships destroyed over a loan that went bad. So if you treat it professionally, it, then the lenders foreclose if it doesn't go right. And if you're not comfortable with that, it's probably not a great borrower for you to loan money to. Next, number four, if you the loan goes into default, don't delay, start taking action immediately. This could should be obvious, but it, you'd be surprised at how many people delay. You can always stop a process such as foreclosure uh, once you begin it, but you can't finish it until you start it. So always keep that in mind. You can always stop it, but you can't finish it until you start it. The next thing I would say, number five, would be to collect payments monthly. I have reasons for that. One, for example, and the key one probably for me is you want the borrower to feel the pain of the payment. I always want the borrower to have a reminder monthly that he's got an obligation to pay on a house that he hasn't filled in with a tenant or sold. Next, you need an easy way to tell if there's a problem with the borrower and missing monthly payments is an easy way to tell. Third, and I have to laugh at this one because I had a client that used to make loans for 18 months and he'd collect all the interest at the end. Well, the problem with that is that when the loan went into default because the guy disappeared, he couldn't foreclose because there was no default on the loan. So you need a methodology for declaring a default. Number six, if you're not sure about how to evaluate a loan, hire one or more professionals to help you evaluate the deal and follow the non-biblical version of the golden rule. I mean, everybody knows the biblical version of the golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules, right? That's the non-biblical version, I'm sorry. The biblical version is do unto others as you would have others do unto you, but in this case, the, the real golden rule is he who has the gold makes the rules. So if your rule means that you have to hire an appraiser or an inspector then you simply pass that cost on to the borrower. And if they don't like your rules, they don't have to borrow your gold. The next tip, number seven, is insist on title insurance for the loan. Boy, I could go into a long stories on this one, but just to give you one easy, quick example, uh, I had made a loan on a property, which I ended up foreclosing on. Four days later, after I'd made my loan, the guy went to a second title company and borrowed more money and they thought they had a first lien. The guy, in fact, got foreclosed on by me and had that pe that second lender not had title insurance, they would have lost all of their money. And there's a lot more to that story, but it's real fun. Next, number eight, verify that hazard and if uh, applicable flood or windstorm coverage is on the property and that you're IRA or your loan lender is named as an additional insured on the policy. This is pretty easy to miss and you want to make sure it's part of your process to do that. Number uh, nine, insist on evidence that property taxes and HOA dues are paid when they become due. 
I have uh, extended loans in the past and those items were not, I didn't say, hey, prove to me you've updated these items. And I ended up when I foreclosed having a lot less equity than I thought because those were in still due. Finally, and I guess this is one of the more important ones, number 10 would be to do due diligence, not only on the property, which everybody kind of understands, but also do your due diligence on the borrower because uh, the borrower is can be people, a person that you shouldn't trust. And I had some experiences in that regard, which I won't go into in this class. But anyway, that's my top 10 tips for using private money. I'm Quincy Long, president of Quest IRA Inc. If you want more information, come to our website at www.questira.com. I look forward to seeing you on another version of REA Classroom. Thank you. Are you looking to change your life through real estate investing? If you're interested in either getting started or taking your business to the next level, please check out FlipNerd's private program at theinvestormachine.com. This is the most robust real estate investor coaching, networking, and mastermind on the planet and designed for your success. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves, ready to take personal responsibility for your own success, and ready to dive into a world-class instructional coaching program that provides you step-by-step instruction to help you achieve financial freedom, then you should apply today. Spaces are limited and candidates are only considered after an application and interview process. Our 12-month investor program is unparalleled. Think you might be a fit? Learn more today at theinvestormachine.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at flipnerd.com slash shows or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.